وقل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل إن الباطل كان زهوقا اور کہہ دے حق آ گیا اور باطل بھاگ گیا یقیناً باطل بھاگ جانے والا ہی ہے حضب اللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now today as the Sazar Sam has just announced um, I will be going through the prophecy of Hazrat Muslim Maud uh, luckily, Hazur Anwar has given the whole uh, khutbah, which is one hour khutbah, and he's gone through in detail why the prophecy was there, why Prophet Islam told us that God will give him a son, and what were his uh, attributes and how the prophecy was fulfilled. Anyone who, ha who has, okay, put it this way, who has listened to the khutbah so far? So obviously that helps my uh, goal, so I don't have to go into that much detail about the prophecy. I would rather spend some time about objections which have been brought forward about the prophecy and I will give you the true answer according to the writing of Prophet Messiah and Islam. Before I start, anyone who goes to sleep I will ask that person question and anyone who is talking to each other or going or even uh, wasting time, I will ask them a question. So all of you have to be attentive because it's a very important topic. <coughs> now, from Israel Islam, as you can see from my very first reference, and remember whatever we say to public, whatever we tell public, it has to be on the basis of solid evidences. We can't say things just because we want to say. And according to about this prophecy, the person who told us that God, God has told us that prophecy is who? From the Messiah Islam. And if he has told us anything about the prophecy, his words have to be the last word. Nobody can claim that his words were wrong. Okay? Now, Prophet Muhammad Islam, in his book, Hamamatul Bushra, he has uh, mentioned this prophecy, not only mentioned, he has claimed that he, this prophecy is one of the evidence that he is from God. He says that the third sign of the promised Messiah Islam is that Allah will bestow him with the son. So that prophecy of the Pusle Ma'ud is actually one of the signs of the promised Messiah Islam. So it's, it's such an important prophecy. And if somebody says that that prophecy didn't fulfill, that promised Messiah Islam didn't actually get the physical son, actually he, that person is saying that Nauz Billah Ma'adullah, the promised Messiah Islam, this third sign was not fulfilled. Is that important? And Prophet Muhammad Islam has clearly written there, I've highlighted it. He says, so therefore these are the signs of Prophet Muhammad Islam who Allah has told us. And all of these, he says, all of these signs uh, by the grace of Allah I, have, uh, I, I will be given. That was that's one important thing we have to remember. Then going to the prophecy itself, if we have, uh, this is the prophecy which was published on 1st of March 1886 in one of the Indian newspapers. It was not published in Jamaat literature because at that time in 1886, nobody knew about Prophet Sayyid Islam that much. There was no establishment of Jamaat. Jamaat was established in when? 1889. So this was even before that. It was published in that newspaper, and I will put, it's, it's a long, long, it's a very long prophecy, about seven, eight pages. So I'm going to use, just go through one or two points in prophecy. First of all, Prophet Sayyid Islam said that in this book, he's talking about this, this ishtihar, this announcement was, was about Rahim Ahmadiyya. 
And he said, in this book, I will mention prophecies, and the first kind of prophecy will be about myself, about me. And in this category, he he's mentioned three categories. In, and the prophecy of Muslim Ma'ud, Razila Dalan, who promised Messiah is now mentioned in category one. So the reason I'm saying that at this point, I'm bringing this point, is that if somebody says that this prophecy of Muslim Ma'ud is was not about the physical son of Promised Messiah Al Islam, Promised Messiah Al Islam's writing clearly uh, tells us that that person is lying. When we go into the prophecy, um, I'm not going to obviously go into that much detail because as we have already mentioned uh, most of it. Um, if we go to the, and again, look, Azur said that the first prophecy, which he is going to start from here, he said, Jofud is akkar se mutallikhat. The first prophecy is about myself, about me, about obviously when he, then he explained in this prophecy that Allah has told me that he will bestow me with a, a special son. Then, prophecies start from here. Uh, from here, from my argument, the Rahmat and Shan did now. And Hazur has heard that prophecy, um, and Zaim Sabha has uh, read that prophecy. So I'm going to quickly go through the, the important point. Um, an important point is Promise Messiah al Islam told us that this prophecy is going to be a sign for non believers, it's going to be a sign for those people who don't believe in Allah. It will be signed for those people who don't believe in the Holy Quran. It will be signed for those people who don't believe in Holy Prophet Wasallam. And the reason was that at that was the time, remember it was 1886. Promised Messiah al-Islam at that time was emerging as a Muslim scholar. And all those people, Hindus, Christians, you name it, they were against him. And at that time, Promised Messiah al-Islam, when he claimed that Islam is a living religion, the Holy Quran is a living book, and Islam's God is a living God. He still talks to people. People, they laughed at him, and especially other religions. They didn't accept that, because that's, that's, that puts their religion obviously down, because most of the religion, they don't believe in that anymore. Promise of Sayyid Islam at that time, when he claimed that God still talks, they asked him, okay, if God spoke to you, Give us a sign. And at that time, Promise Messiah al-Islam, he went to Husharpur. Husharpur is a city in India, and he prayed to Allah for 40 days. And after and during that time, this prophecy was uh, given to him. And that's the reason he's saying there that this prophecy is about non-believers. And the reason I'm bringing this, this uh, uh, point is because Nowadays, I hear from, I will mention to you uh, later on, that there is a person who claims that this prophecy was obviously uh, was a test for Jamaat e Ahmadiyya Muslim itself. Wrong. From the Promise Messiah Islam has clearly written that this prophecy is about non believers, non Muslims. The sign will be given to Promise Messiah Islam so that he can prove to non believers that there is a God there. Not to answer this. Okay, now I will come back to this point here, uh, but um, I think for the prophecy, I will just just finish there. But there are more points. But the, I can see that 15 minutes already nearly gone. Another thing which we have to remember about the prophecy is the promised Messiah Islam was declared as Hakwa Adil. By the, by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, does anyone know who, what, what is Hak Hak Mother? What is Hak Mother? Okay, now that's one meaning, but actually Hak Mother mean, Hakam mean the person whose words will be final. And the reason promise was, uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that because he knew there would be many sects in Islam and everyone will be saying I'm right and I'm right and you're wrong. And that time, the person will come who will tell my Ummah 
what is right and what is wrong. And when he said he will be Hak Mu'adil, what he meant was his words will be last words. And I'm showing you the words of, of Hak Mu'adil about this prophecy. And he went, I'm reading from um, um, Majmu'a Ishtihara, page 142. And Promised Messiah says very clearly that when, whenever Allah reveals an ilham, when, whenever something is revealed to a person, only that person knows the true meaning of, the, of that revelation. No one else on earth can say that, you know that ilham, that revelation from God, I know the meaning better than you. And he very clearly says that. He said the reason is because the person who has been given that ilham, he knows exactly which way God has informed him and God has given him that ilham. The reason I'm saying to you is because nowadays there's a fitna which claims that as God forbid that person knows more a better meaning of ilham of promise of Islam as compared to the promise of Islam, which is wrong. Promise of Islam has clearly told us only the person who is mulham he knows the true meaning of ilham, whatever has been revealed to him. Now another uh, very important issue. Um, but before I go to that, I just want to show you Promise Messiah in Islam, obviously he, he told us that prophecy. He, he not only told us that God has given me that prophecy that he will give a son. It was one of those prophecies which was fulfilled at his, during his lifetime. And he clearly told us that this prophecy has been fulfilled. And I'm going to show you only one reference about that. And we got, we got, I mean, very, uh, too many, I mean, I would say about five, six references which are from Prophet Messiah Islam, even more than that, which clearly says that um, that prophecy has been fulfilled. I'm just going to show you one or two. This is Tracker Clue, volume 15, page 154. And Promise Messiah Islam, in that book, he says that Ilham, the revelation told me that Allah will give me, Allah will bless me with four sons. And then he says, and among those four sons, there will be one son who will have that special practice who will be, he, he, word, he, he used the word, Ek marde khuda masih ilham ne kiya. And if we go back to the prophecy of Muslim Ma'ud, one of the attributes of Muslim Ma'ud is that he will be masih sith. So Promise Messiah Islam has very clearly, black and white, told us that the, the revelation told me that there will be four sons and among those four sons there will be one who will have special characteristics. Then he is telling, he is using there a future tense. And look there, what he says there, he says, so, Khuda Ta'ala ke fadl se chaar ladke paida ho gay. He said, and look. Allah has given me four sons. Allah has given me those four sons. And what it mean? If so, four sons have been given to the person who claimed that Allah will give me four sons. Amongst those four sons, there is one son who is that special son which Allah is, was telling him about. No one else. Physical son. It has to be. The Muslim out has to be from a physical son of Promised Messiah Islam. No one claimed that, oh, he actually didn't understand Promised Messiah and I know that it was not physical son. He's clearly he's telling us that God told me four sons and one of them will be Muslim Ma'ud. So it's a very, very important reference. I will show you again. It's volume 15, page 154. Okay, and just out of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, just one of those references, which I'm telling that, you know, the person I'm talking about, um, um, I have mentioned this reference so many times in my videos, no answer so far, alhamdulillah, no answer, except that he said the problem of Messiah al-Islam, Hakmo, the promise of Messiah al-Islam, no, he, he can understand his ilham, 
which I told you from the, uh, the reference one, you, uh, you know, before I showed you, from Muslim Islam has told us only mulham knows the best meaning of al ilham. So obviously, according to Prophet Islam, prophecy has been fulfilled, and it's very, it's very easy for us to understand. Allah gave him four sons, and look what. Out of four sons, only one son was given the, uh, he became Khalifa. Only one son was given all these attributes. He was Khalifa for 52 years. And attribute to that special person in that prophecy were 52 attributes. Okay? So, once I showed this, Alhamdulillah, that prophecy was fulfilled, I'm going to quickly show you one or two excuses, you know, the lame excuses which have been uh, in the past been put forward by that person and many of us know there's a person in Germany, his name is Abdul Kufar Jamba, he claimed to be that he is that Muslim Maud um, and Alhamdulillah he has been given um, on answers, he, we, we, we have given him all these answers and uh, that's the reason and because he's not from God so far, I think, um, I have made about 40 videos about him and I was thinking the other day that I think I have made more videos than the number of people who actually follow him. <laughs> and that, that's, that's, my, uh, that's what I think. I don't think he's been followed by many people. So, anyway, going back to his excuses, one of his excuses, he, because he knows that he can't be Muslim Mahmoud, he says, actually, the prophecy I just showed you before, it was not actually about Muslim Maud, it was about Zaki Ulam. And Promised Messiah Islam misunderstood it. Now, and then obviously he twists words and brings his own things. But I will just show you exactly what Promised Messiah Islam has told us. Going back to the prophecy of uh, uh, Promised Messiah Islam. You see here, I have highlighted green, and then I've highlighted here yellow. There's a reason for that. Prophet Messiah Islam has told us that actually in the very beginning, when Allah revealed him that prophecy, he thought that Allah is talking about one son in this prophecy. But what actually happened was, the son was born, which is Hazrat Bashir of Radhi but after some time he passed away. And that time, obviously, uh, people, and that's, uh, people obviously, they, they started, especially non-believers, non-Muslims, Hindus, Christians, they started making, uh, you know, the way they, they obviously do in this situation, certain, um, you know, uh, excuses, he you know, accused him that he was lying and this and that. And that time, Prophet Messiah Islam told us, and I personally believe that mis that thing happened because Allah knew 100 years after this prophecy that certain fitna will come. And promised Messiah al Islam, when his son passed away, he wrote in his book, uh, in his uh, Sabrishtah, we call it Green Ishtihar. I can show you that if you want, but anyway, he's, he's written in that Ishtihar that Allah has revealed to me that actually this, these, the, you know, these uh, few paragraphs, they are actually not for one son, they are actually for two sons. And he says, the wording before Uskya Saad Fadal Hai is about first son. And after this Uskya Saad Fadal Hai is about the second son, which is Muslim Maud. Now the reason I'm showing you now is about, the, uh, I'll make, I'm trying to make point is about Zaki Ulam. This person, who claims to be Zaki Ulam, Promised Messiah Islam told us that this part of the prophecy, which I highlighted green, is about his first son. And look, word Zaki Ulam is in those few sentences. Zaki Ulam. And according to Promised Messiah Islam, who was Zaki Ulam? Hazrat. Bashir Awal Razila Taranho, his first child, who has who passed away after a few months. So Zaki Ulam, according to Prophet Promise Messiah Islam, was given to him and he died, he passed away. So nobody now can claim that he is that Zaki Ulam mentioned in this prophecy. 
Remember Zaki Ghulam mean Zaki mean Pak, Pais. Ghulam mean son. And that's another I want to, the reason I'm telling you is I want to bring another point. The person, Jamba Sahib, he sometimes uh, brings this allegation that Prophet Islam, he's misunderstood the prophecy and that's the reason he wrote this word Larka, son, himself. This is not from God. And when you read this prophecy, yes, Prophet Muhammad did write that word from himself. And the reason is very obvious. Zaki Ghulam is not an Urdu word. It's an Arabic word. And Prophet Muhammad Islam, obviously people around him, they were mostly Urdu speaking. He wrote that word to explain that Allah is telling me about a son. And if you look before that, just before that, if we read, he says, I'll give you glad, glad tidings about a son, a ladka. And then he says, Ek zaki gulam tujhe milega. Then after that he says, Wo ladka tumhara mehman aata hai. So look, he says, Sunday, sun, uh, Sunday, and then there's another sun here. Um, uh, anyway, there's a sun here, but obviously this, um, I don't know, somehow this ishtihad, um, um, they have missed one phrase which actually in this guy is, is there. But anyway, Allah again and again was telling from the Messiah al Islam, son, son, and he mentioned himself someday. So he, the person who claims now that from the Messiah al Islam made mistake and this and that, that's just an excuse. Zaki Ghulam has come and he's uh, uh, and he's passed away, so nobody can claim now that he is that Zaki Ghulam. Another excuse which he uh, sometimes brings is the promise of Messiah now he made um, we call it ishtahadi galti he made a mistake the promise of Messiah remember promise of Messiah himself has told us you know this this is the reference I was showing you from uh, um, um, volume 15 and look on the very next page he says that. Yes, even the ishtahadi ghalti, the mistake, um, uh, even the Prophet and Rasul, they can make ishtahadi mistake. Jis par wo kaim nahi rakhe jate, but God uh, always tells them that they are a mistake. They, 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 they have made that mistake. What he means is that even if a Prophet, uh, a Nabi, a Mulham makes a mistake about a prophecy, God tells him, God informs him during his lifetime. That, that's what it means. In Urdu, when you say, this or wo kaam nahi rakhe jate, that means Allah informed them, and then they change. They tell the people, obviously, this has happened. Now, the reason I'm showing you is, uh, when people, well, especially those Jamba people, <coughs> they say that from Sayyidah Islam made a mistake, the sign of, that, of a prophet, that he is a true prophet of God is that Allah, even if prophet makes a mistake, Allah informs him during his lifetime. So, if anyone claims now that Prophet Muhammad uh, unfortunately made a mistake, God forbid, then Allah had to inform him. And even Jamba Sahib, he says nearly every um, his khutbah that his phrase is that. Mulham Sari Umar apne ladko mein usko dhoomta raha. Mulham, all his life, he was looking for a Muslim out where in his physical, you know, son. Okay? So, according to this Prophet Messiah's writing, that Jamba Sahib is wrong and Alhamdulillah, we are right that the Muslim out was actually Hazrat Nizab Bishir Adin Mahmoud Amma Sahib. Then, I just want to show you Two quick references. Um, I'll just tell you um, verbally. There's one excuse which he makes is the Prophet Muhammad Islam in one of his uh, book, Muzahib uh, Rahman. He says that Allah will bestow me with a fifth son, and he always says, "Show me the fifth son." And the reason he says it is because, as if Prophet Muhammad Islam knows, if he can make a mistake here, he can make uh, in this prophecy about fifth son. He can make a mistake about the. Uh, Muslim out. I will just give you the answer. Prophet Muhammad Islam himself, in a book Hakikat al I got the reference, he's mentioned the same prophecy, 
that uh, Bashar Nibi Khamisin, that God has told me that he will give me fifth son. And he says that prophecy uh, Allah has given me is actually about my grandson. The person who Allah told that prophecy himself has told us in his lifetime that the, the ilham of Bashar Nibi Khamisin was not about his physical son, but actually it was about his physical grandson. Okay, so remember that because in Arabic, Ulam, Larka, it's used for both son and grandson. Now, very last point. Uh, one of the Jamba Sahib sometimes says that, like the Prophet, the Prophet of Sahil Islam, he uh, proved that Isa Islam is died. And Prophet Sallallahu used 30 verses from the Holy Quran. He says that I got 13 Mubashar Ilhamat of Prophet Sallallahu And those 13 Ilhamat proves that Muslim Maud was not actually his uh, physical son. The reason he claims that, he says that those Ilhamat actually were revealed to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam up to October 1907. And he says, the thing is that the son has to born after those revelations were finished. It was October 1907. What he hides from public is that from his Messiah himself, he has told, he has published in his books, that all those Ilhamats, most of them were about his physical sons, and the rest of them were about his progeny. And he has clearly mentioned that this is about my grandson, this is about my somebody in my, uh, you know, in my progeny will be that, that that's the prophecy about him. I will just that's that's one point. Second point is there are few few ilhamas which Prophet Muhammad Islam himself told us that this ilham is about my dad son and that ilham is about that son. But Jamba Sahib. Uh, I would say fraudster. He says he claims that this that Nausbilla promised Messiah was wrong when he uh, said that this Islam was about my son. Actually, this Islam was about Jamba Sahib. Okay, I will just show, give you two examples. Right, that's the writing of that's one of the um, um, article of Jamba Sahib uh, where he has mentioned all these three uh, eight, thirteen Islamists. Um, before I start that, Jamba Sahib in his uh, um, speech on 9th of February, he said that these ilhamat, we should just believe them as they are and nobody should, is, should be given any, no, nobody should do any explanation about them. Nobody is allowed to do any explanation. And he said because these are the word of God. And look that. The person who tells us that nobody should be given any explanation about these ilhamat, these red wording is Jamba Sahib wording. He himself writes the Ilhamad and then tries to explain in his, own word, in his own words what he thinks what it really means. So obviously, if nobody is allowed to do an explanation, then Jamba Sahib is not allowed to do it. But, having said that, Promised Messiah Islam, who was actually the person who was given the revelation, he has every right to tell us that what he really means by this uh, this ilham, and he tells us very clearly. Look, this ilham was 1881, and he says uh, Tazkara page 29. Okay, now if you go to Tazkara page 29, which is page four on this one. That's page 29. Okay. Now this is that ilham inna nubashiruka be gulamin haseen. And guess what? Romans Kutayal Islam has written very clearly. He said, Allah told me that they gave me this ilham many, many years ago. And at that time I, I was not even married. After that, that ilham, he said, I, I, I got married in Delhi. And Allah gave me that son. That son, which is Allah gave him glad tidings in this ilham. Allah gave me that son and he then gave me three afterwards. So Prophet Muhammad 
himself has informed us that this ilham was about his son. Which son? Hazrat Mizra Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad Sahib. But, as I said, Jamba Sahib is hiding that fact that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has clearly told us. Now, I will just give you one more example and then I will finish. If you, if I go to page 5, that is, because I'm just giving you two examples, because these are, sorry, because these are very clear examples. If I go to Ilham number 3, Inna Nubashiruka Bibulami. Now, this look says, in Warul Islam, Safa 30, page 39, and this, 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 and he's given, Jamba Sahib has written his own explanation about it. But if we go to Promise Messiah Allah Islam, what he told us about that, in, that in harm, and that is page 12 of that. Now, that's uh, in harm number three, in the Nubashiru Gabi Ulamin, and Promise Messiah Allah Islam, told us that this ilham was about Hazrat Mirza Sharif Ahmad Radhi So he told us himself that these, this ilham was about his so and so son. And now, um, unfortunately, Jamba Sahib, he just collected all those ilhamat and he says, Promise Messiah Islam was wrong. I know it may, it, the Allah meant that it, these ilham was about me. And funny enough, I will finish my, you know, this. Uh, we have uh, got time, but we got time. Okay. Now I just want to give them time to uh, ask any yes. questions. Funny enough, person who claims that he knows more than Prophet Silas, huh? When we ask him, okay, you know more than Prophet Silas, huh? So where are your ilhamad? Where are your revelations? Give us words. Which word? Exactly, God has given you glad tidings that you are Muslim. And guess what? There's not a single word. Somewhere along the line, he says that God, the reason, he says, Dr. Yahya asked me again and again that show me your ilham. But how can I show, you, show him his, his, uh, my ilham? Because my, most of my revelation, he says, is Vahiyya Ghair Matlaw. Wahi Ghair Matlaw is that way when Allah doesn't tell you exact words. Okay? And that way, I will, he actually tried to convince public <coughs> that the reason I can't show you my ilham is because God does talk to me, but, but he talks to me with Wahi Ghair Matlaw. He doesn't talk to me with exact words. But if, what he's forgotten is, from the promised Messiah Islam, has told us, he says that Vahiyya Ghair Matlao is that Vahiyya which is most probably from Satan. Okay, so that's, that's another important point. Because Allah when talks to, his, to, 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 to the man of God, He talks to him very clearly. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Prophet of Allah, they have told us exact words when Allah speaks to them. Okay? But in contrast, this person who claims to be Muslim out, he has no revelation from God. Okay, which also proves that he is not from Allah. Any questions? How many people exactly follow the Bible? Yeah, yeah. I do not know exactly, but I'm sure it's 10, 10, 10 20, 30, something like that. Yeah. You mentioned that. State that uh, his alleging was made and his accepted it, was said that it was incorrect. What was the nature of that? Oh yeah, uh, what happened was Promise Messiah Al Islam. Good question, because I wanted to bring that point, but then I thought if somebody asked me then I would bring that point. Now what happened if when you read this prophecy from here, especially Urdu speaking um, you know the um, people, um, it looks like this is about one person, okay? But when his son obviously passed away, I mean, imagine at that time, imagine how promised was Allah Islam friend. He must have gone back to God, that, that, oh God, you told me that you're going to give me that special son, and what's happened? And then Allah revealed to him that actually, this prophecy is in two parts. This is about first person, 
first child and this is for second child. And when I read this, 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 um, um, this prophecy last week, actually, I, I, uh, to be honest with you, even this point, I, I knew Prophet has said that this, uh, this is for the uh, first child and this is for the second child. But this phrase that says, Uske saath fadl hai, uske aane ke saath aega, I personally didn't understand how can something start from there? What does it mean? Okay? And only last week when I was doing that live broadcast, it just occurred, just, you know, Allah me sometimes just showed you that, um, the, what it really mean. If you read this in the context that the first child was born and he has passed away, and actually, us means the first child, Hazrat Mirza Bashir Ahmad Am A, not Am A, Hazrat Mirza uh, uh, Bashir Abbal, Razila Dara no, K Saad Hazal hai, Jo Hazrat Mirza Bashir Abbal K Ade K Saad Haiga, immediately after him he will come. So that's what it really meant. Okay? And I'm not just, uh, um, I mean, I, miss, uh, I didn't understand that much, but Prophet Messiah Islam himself has mentioned that. That's the uh, Sabzishtahar, which is very famous in Jamaat literature. And he says, one page before that, he says, or Dusiri Rahmat ki jo bhi hamne bayan ki hai, which is Muslim out, uski takmeer ke liye Khuda Ta'ala dusra bishi bejega. He will send, send second bishi. And then he says, Allah Ta'ala has revealed to me in that the 20th February 1886 page prophecy was actually about two sons. Okay? And then he says, and the wording where he says, Mubarak ho jo asman se aata hai, that's about Bashir Abban. And where he says, and says the, 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 the sentence after that is about the second machine. Then, on very next page, he said, Ye dhoka khana nahi chahiye ke jis peish goin ka zikir hua wo muslim aut ke haak mein hai. He's talking about those, the green ones. He say, Kyunke bazariya ilham saaf toh par khul gya hai ke yehi baarte pisar mutbafi ke haak mein hai. So those words were about, those phrases were about that son who has passed away. And he said, the Muslim mouth of the book is written, that the first time it starts with the first time, that the first time it starts with the first time, that the first time it starts with the first time. Now the point I'm trying to make here is, if we say us is Hazrat Mirza Bashir Abba Razila Talano, then you understand this sentence very clearly. Hazrat Mirza Bashir Abba Razila Talano ke saath fadal hai. جو حضرت مرزا بشیر اول کی آنے کے ساتھ آئے گا not himself it will come after him and that's the reason Prophet Messiah Alayhi Salaam has written there اور بشیر اول جو فوت ہو گیا بشیر سانی کے لیے بطور ارحاس تھا and ارحاس mean when the sign is about to when something is about to appear and we see that initial sign about that thing that anything that's called ارحاس in Arabic Okay, any other question? Uh, where can you see your channel? Oh, he said, where you can see oh. my channel. Uh, uh, does anybody know? There's a channel in YouTube, it's called Real, Real Islam Channel. That's my YouTube channel. And, uh, and we got also got Facebook channel where, can I mention to this one? On every Saturday, um, three o'clock UK time, we have live program where uh, anyone is allowed to ask questions, obviously about religion. And we have, even yesterday we had a program and there was a very scholar, Molvi, he was there. And we, and Allah gave us, uh, you know, the, we, we managed to give, give him answers. And we have debate in a very scholarly fashion. We don't have like Molvi, you know, screaming and shouting on each other. <laughs> Any other question? Because after that, I have questions. How many minutes? Yeah, about ten. Ten. Right. Any more questions? 
No, so it's my turn now. Yeah, of course. So, Dr. Sam, this is about grandson. Have you actually mentioned it to Jambas about this, that um, the fifth Jambas son was actually the grandson? Thing is, yes, as he denied it. Jambas has been answered by many Amdi scholars in the past. Even I didn't know before. It's only once I started investigating, uh, then I find out that there are people like in Canada, in America, they have given all these answers to this person. So what he does is, because he's done exactly the same thing to me, when you give him answer, for example, I, I read his article, which uh, I think I said, I read his article about, I think, 13, whatever, this article, word to word, and I proved that this, this, this article against Prophet Psyla Islam wording. So what he does, and then, in next book by next speech, he reads his previous article again. He says, I proved my point, you know, that's it, that's his answer. More nine out of ten times, he just goes back, and to be honest with you, I, I'm pretty sure he knows that he has nothing to lose. Out of 30 people, how many can you, can you lose? And most of them, they are those people who are either, they have something, you know, they, they were other issues. And that's the reason they, uh, Jamaat either got rid of them or they were unhappy about a few things. But that's his answer. In um, Canada, um, one of our um, uh, Ahmadi, uh, Sayyid Kaleem Saab, he has written a book about and answered all his allegations and that book is anyone can guess can anyone guess how many pages that book um, 200. 200 any more 200. up uh, 300. up 500. 500 it's 1035 pages book and all of these things have been mentioned to Jambas but then he I spoke to that person uh, you know that Allah wa alone. I he didn't even he has not written even his um, phone nothing on that book. It, I just somebody gave me it was it's in PDF format. I managed to find him and, and I asked him you know obviously that uh, and I wanted his permission to put that to upload that book and uh, with a video with it so that people can get benefit from it. So inshallah next week uh, inshallah I will upload his uh, book. But the point I'm going to make is, many Ahmadis, he was one of them. I know many people in America, they have answered. I mean, they have given him answer of all his allegations, excuses. But if somebody doesn't want to listen, what can you do? Any question? I always thought that the son of Hazrat Muslim who was a guest, was Hazrat Mirza Mubarak. Hazrat Masih Mawadal Salatu Wasalam, first son was, according to this prophecy, was Hazrat Mirza Bashir Abba Razila Tanah He passed away and then Hazrat Mirza Mubarak Masa passed away uh, afterwards. So if you include Hazrat Mirza Mubarak, isn't there five sons? Yes, but when the uh, promise was Salatu Wasalam, the reason he said four is because at one time there were only son, four sons alive together. So he didn't include Rashid Abu Razi in that. Yes, sir. Any question? Right. Okay. Jazakallah.